Yeah, say hello to Donkey. Oh, look, there's Jack. Jack, get off the camera. Oh, there's Howard. Oh, hang on, where's Jack? Oh, there he is. Righto, let's go. I was in the mud. <laughs> yes, it has been flooded down here for weeks. Yeah, still like a bog hole. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man, did this get flooded? I still love those ones, can't slow down. There's the water, look. Man, I love going out here in the bush. I hate the city, I'm sick of it. I don't think he was quite watching the road, that guy. Now up here we've got a bit of road works where the river washed the road away. Ooh, potholes. Uh, anybody lose their bed? Yeah, that's the problem with these floods. They, um... There's a house here, you can't see it, it's up there in the trees. Here's his driveway. <laughs> yeah, these are real battle axe drive what we call battle axe driveways, you know, you really gotta watch out for them. I'm gonna be in pain my brother a visit. No, actually I think I'll just go home. I'm gonna go check out my house. I haven't, I haven't been up in my house up here for ages. What do you reckon, eh? Want to go for free barbecue with me? Hey, doesn't that house even remind you of, uh, I don't know it doesn't. I thought it looked a little bit like Ukraine. Oh look, like Ukraine, blue and yellow. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Uh, I don't know if anybody's heard about this. It's probably going to be history on this. I don't usually put things on this. Uh, Ukraine won the um, European Awards for Singing last night. Good on them. The Euro Ward. What are they called? Euro Wards? Yeah. I thought that was rather good. This is Yowie country. This is um, this is the spot. Somerset Caravan Park. Where they reckoned uh, the lady was camped down by near the creek. And this thing come walking in there through the bush. Yeah, it's on Yowie Hunters Australia. So look, you can't have a look, you'll see it. See, it's called Somerset. So it's a caravan park. Big Somerset. Hmm. Anyway, she reckoned that she was down here and um, she's camping back there behind me. Uh, and that's uh, what you reckon. They come down the mountain, walked around a campsite, and of course the road's way over here, and they're camped way back in, inland, or back up against the mountain, back there on that green grass, you know. Anyway, I'm going to do an off-take up here for a, a guy called Jamie, who's, uh, where's my Yowie? Now, 1885, they reckon they had a yowie up here. And check this out. Let's have a look here. Oh. That's definitely landslide. That's definitely a landslide, that one. That I'll be watching that one. Ah oh, mate, there's heaps of landslides up here. I mean look at this rock base. 
I mean, imagine running into that with your bus or your car or your truck. I drove my bus up here once. Yeah, 12, 12 metre long house bus. I drove it up here. I was supposed to be able to fit the bus up here, but I did. Oh, let's check this out. Oh, look at this landslide. Oh man, has not Kylo. So look, there's the water. It's way down there now. See how deep it was? That's washed all this road away. See, this is like a great big bloody um, drain pipe coming out of a big huge water tank, right? And comes out a little one inch pipe. I mean, look, look, look how low that is. And that filled all this up. From there, right over to there. and across that green paddock. All this water comes from the town of Mudgee. 600 miles away. And look at the trees. Look, have a look at that. <laughs> just, that's just flood damage. Just snaps them over there like they're nothing. We drive the less of the Oh my goodness me. I think Howard's been up here with his howitzer again. I mean, that's going to take some pretty money to get rid of that. I mean, seriously. I mean, that is one massive, great big bloody sandstone boulder. That's not clay. That's rock. That's you see what's happened. The flood water's washed the, the base out from under it, and down it's come. Mate, that is a beautiful big piece of sandstone. I, I know what I'll be doing with that. I'll be cutting it up, and be selling it and putting it in buildings. Because that stuff's worth a fortune. There's probably about half a million dollars sitting there. Yeah, you take that around to the swarm sandstone guy and he cut that up. Sandstone quarry. Oh, mate, wouldn't he make some money? Check this one out. Oh, this is worth getting out. Oh, this is worth getting out of the car for. We'll leave Mr. Dog in the car. We won't take him out. Let's go have a look. Might let the silly dog out. He'll bloody kill himself. I can feel it here already. Whoa. Howard, did you come up here with your howitzer again? Oh, probably did. Anybody think we're in fucking in bloody Ukraine, wouldn't you? And look at that. Jumped out of the car. You just see how much is gone from there. Boom. And look, there it is way down there. Must have been a sight to see that roll down the hill underneath the water. I have no idea how they're ever going to fix that one. Whoa, man, that's that's a rock face.
near the water. What is that running over? That river shouldn't be making a noise like that. It's just meant to be a smooth river. The river's running around something or going through something. Oh, it's a big tree. Right in the middle of the river. Hear the noise? Turn up your volume. Anyway, shall continue. <sighs> Mr. Jumper Router in. That way. <laughs> That'll teach you to jump out the window. <laughs> now it's all. All up. Cars on a lean like that. You gotta get uphill, look. You watch. See? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, they're all going. Hello. Three of them. Two motorbikes and a car. See, what happened was, the first car, he stopped and slowed down. It's when the other vehicle showed up. Now, I tried filming this here the other day and I couldn't do it. There was that many cars on the road. Look at the size of that tree there. That's come out that's come out of the embankment. And once that gave way, there was nothing there to hold all this up. You know the old saying, I never thought in my lifetime I'd ever thought I'd see something like that. Well I've been coming down here since I was a kid. And we, we just never ever thought that this road here would ever get washed away because Dad said to us, oh no, it's great big, great big huge sandstone boulders, blah, 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 you know. Just goes to show you how wrong he was. See that? That's, um, that's flood damage. Look. That's what the farmers do. They put it in little piles. And when it, once it dries out, they set fire to it because down here they can burn it during winter. Man, look at the mud. See that mud there? That was all on this road. This is, actually, this is where I come through here. And that mud back there was all over the road. And I come through here and the, and the grader was down here. And the car was sitting there going... <laughs> so it's still not the sort of road you want to go speeding on. I'm actually quite surprised as... Not more holes in the road just here, but there is up here because this is dirt up here. So here's all those famous rocks across the road, across the paddock. 
That's to stop people driving up into the bog hole. See? Great big trees like this come down across the road. That's all they do. They cut them up and they throw them up, up there. Look at this. Look, look at the bloody size of this. Imagine driving down here in the dark and that bastard land on top of you. So look, see what they're doing here with all the flood water? Uh, trees, oh hang on, I'll get up here so I don't have the bloody corner of the car on the road. What they do is they do this. This is still Somerset Caribbean Park. So they cut down all the, all the knock down trees and turn them into free firewood. Like that over there, look. A big one, that's already been cut up. Look at this great big bloody thing, look. Still stuck here underneath the bloody... That floated in. How did that get in there? That's, that's not in the tree from here. That's a white gum. That's a totally different tree. That tree's floated in there. Yeah, floated. It's come from somewhere upstream. It's come floating down there. Got stuck between those two trees and sat on top of the other one. Some people probably turn and say, oh no, that's Bigfoot. <laughs> oh man, this is fun going up here. Oh, a lot of clean up. that's wood fire so they have archery up here too see it's a camping ground so there's all your bullseyes so you can play archery yeah this is this is the end of Somerset caravan park See? Oh, oh, it's a massive great... It's a massive great um, area. It goes all the way along the river. Yeah, you can drive on the wrong side of the road when you know there's potholes everywhere. I mean, you, the government doesn't expect you to smash your car to pieces. And, you know, really, I mean, fair dinkum. And clearly, so there's nothing coming. Oh, look at that dust. Oh, finally, we've got some dust. It means it's starting to dry out. I, I wonder if the old, old truck's still up here. I wonder if that got washed away. Oh no, there she is. That old big old truck up there, that, oh, that's been there since I was a kid. Oh, just been sitting there. It's just an icon in the paddock. It's just a marker, everybody knows, oh yeah, you see the big tow truck up there in the paddock. You know, it's been there for, what, 60 odd years. Even my grandfather talked about it before I, I even come down here. And he died in 1976.
There's kangaroos. <laughs> Didn't think you'd believe me, so I thought, well, I've said, but we've got kangaroos. There's none down here at the moment because when the flood water comes, they know to get, get out of here and they know they can get trapped. So, what the kangaroos do is they, um, they go up there in the high ground. They go right up top of the mountain ranges and then what they do, they go and find the local farmer who's got uh, water troughs in the paddock there for his cows. They'll go and get water up there. But they won't come back down here because they know that the flood water's made all the grass covered in mud. And kangaroos aren't stupid. And what they do, they'll wait for the next lot of green grass to come up that's nice and fresh then they'll come back whoa oh Jesus Christ you nearly missed that one you missed it didn't you no that's not a bridge that's a guardrail look it's got no right it's got no right under it look Oh, there's a white reflector sign. There's another white reflector way down there. There she's gone. <laughs> this is, this is uh, Lantana. The Poms brought it out here from England. Thank you, England. It's a bloody pest. It's got spikes all over it. And it kills all the local native fauna and flora. It can make horses and cattle sick and die. Bloody British. A couple of poms brought over here from England before they, before Australia decided to have quarantine laws. You know, back in 1900. And the bloody pommies brought out here on their sailing ships when they come out here by boat on a $10 ticket. Now the bloody thing's all around the east coast of Australia. Go right up the Cairns and right out of Melbourne, all like, like down out here, out here in the bush. And it recently started down around the city. This bloody lantana just blows in the wind. It's gone everywhere. You go Byron Bay, up in the foothills of Byron Bay and Lismore. You go halfway across the Bruxner Highway, from Casino to Tenerfield. 300 kilometres right out in the bush. Next thing you say, you see a great, great big pile of lantana. It's got there from Sydney somehow. Or Brisbane. You don't know how it gets there, but it's just gotten there. Probably fell off the back of a truck. Look at it all. Bloody heap of shit. Oh, that's damaged. Oh, look at that. That used to be a lovely soft river bank. There you go, look at the water over there. See, look, it's crystal clear. So when I was down there at Colo, Colo River, it was all brown and muddy. Oh, well it is brown and muddy there. But once it goes through the sand, it comes out crystal clear. See, it's this sort of mud from up here. It's where the mud's coming from, from where mankind has dug it all up. But once you go past up here, the Upper Colo River Bridge, it should be pretty much more clear. I think there's like one or two little properties. Just up the other side. Yeah, you've got to be on your toes driving. Look at all the weed there. Now look at the mud here, look at this. 
This is where the grader push it up when ah, this is it. I thought it was this is where the grader pushed all the mud up when I come through here in the car. Look at it all. They just push it up there into the fence. They don't worry about it because well it's colo. It doesn't doesn't matter. It's farms. No, so you enjoying yourself? Nick, you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Colo River should be just up here somewhere. You know, there was a story about a guy who was down here in his orange orchard back in about 1890 or something. Jamie can tell you the story on Where's My Yowie? It's called the Upper Colo River Yowie. Well, this is where it was. Right here. This is the beginning of the Upper Colo River Orchard. Now, let's have a look. These trees have been here for over a hundred and something years. And that might be the last of the orange orchard that's still there. Pretty I can't turn around and have a look. No. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a go. Let's just stick my nose around a bit. Yeah, there it is over there. Yeah, that's the last of the Colo, Upper Colo River Orange Orchard. A lot of it's gone now, so I've got to... Hmm. Yeah, a lot of it's gone now. I know, here's some more of it. So look at all the orange trees. Well, there are oranges on them. So yeah, it comes down here, you eat all the fruit. Well, it used to. Won't be around here now, it gets shot. Well, that's the story. And why, why would he come down here eating fruit? Because right there is the Colo River. Clean fresh water. Don't no, believe me, here's the road here, look. Let's go down and have a look. Dog, go down there for a swim. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here, and, um, cause I can't go down there. And what's the next video? We call Upper Colo River Bridge. See ya, Mr. Almanoid, like, share and subscribe. See ya.